now that I've downloaded all these images, I want to organize my desktop. See how messy my desktop is? What I like to do here is create a new folder. Command Shift N will create a new folder. I'm going to call this Comic Book Covers. Then I'm going to take all of these images and put them in that folder. These are all comic book covers that I found that I think I had most of when I was collecting comic books. So I'm going to double click here. One of the images that I found that I want to use as a background is this one called Marvel DC Fight. So I'm going to double click this. It's going to open up Photoshop. I'm going to check the image size because I don't want to go larger than 1024 by 768 image size 1024 768 so it's not quite large enough so I think I'm going to change this one to 768 this one is going to go to 1368 because it does it proportionally and then I'm going to trim it down to the size I want by doing canvas size change inches to pixels change this to 1024 and it should cut off the sides when I click OK. New canvas size is smaller some clipping will occur. Proceed. So this is my size. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. We're going to call this a personal postcard. So I'm going to click Save As. Personal We'll just call it personal card. Underscore first initial last name. Remember to put your first initial and last name, not a student. And then the period number that you are in. I'm going to just put period one on here. Click on the desktop. Since I've got this folder already, I'm going to double click this and go in here and save it in here. So now I just need to open up the rest of those images by doing file open. I should be in the correct folder now and as long as you're on a Macintosh it'll allow you to select more than one image to open. What I did was I clicked and dragged a rectangle around these but because this one's already open I'm going to hold the shift key down after I've let go of the mouse and select these ones also and click open. You'll notice it open a series of tabs, and each one of these comic books is now opened. I'm going to go back to my original, which is personal card. I'm going to click on the text box and type in my name. You can type in your first name or just your last name, or just your first name. Since my first name is very small, I'm going to use Mr. Wing on this one. Just click anywhere in here and type your name. I'm going to use the caps lock key. And then I'm going to click this tool so that I can see my type. I'm going to take this background down a little bit, fade it back because it's my background. By clicking on it, I'm going to click on another layer. I'm going to reverse these two so that white is on top. And then holding the Option key down, I'm going to tap Delete so that it fills up the background with white. Then I'm going to go right up here and click on Fill and reduce this down to about 50%. So that I can still see the background, but I can also see my text and the other images I'm going to put in here. So I want to fill up the screen with this text. So I've clicked on this layer, hold the Command key down, tap the letter T. Now I can stretch this to as large as I want. 
and I want it really large. If it's not big enough, click on the text tool, put the cursor there, click it, and then hit return so that now this is larger text. Again, Command T, and I'm going to stretch it out to make it as big as I possibly can. You can also center the text. This one's already centered, but at the top of the screen, if you notice, anytime you want to see what a tool is, roll your mouse over it and leave it there for a second and it will tell you what it is and this is already set to center text. The only other thing I want to do is I want to make the space in here a little bit smaller. So I'm going to hold the command key down and tap the letter T. This tells me that this type is 273 points and it's set to auto on here. I'm going to set this to 270 points and hit return. 270. Try about 250. And enter. So that's now approaching the size that I want. Now I'm going to grab these other comic books and I'm going to put them in front of here initially and then show you what we're going to do with it. Selecting everything on the screen by tapping Command A, copying it, Command C, and then pasting it in here, Command V. And that is a very large image, so I'm doing Command minus to see how big that image is. Command T will give me the handlebars. Holding the shift key down, clicking and dragging to the left diagonally and trying to get it to about the size of the text there. Command zero gives me full screen. Now I can move this around to where I want it. And I want to try and do a different comic book for each one of these. So I'm going to try and ballpark it, putting as much of the title into the book and then hit return to set it. In order to get the text inside here, or the image inside here, I'm going to put this behind here by clicking and dragging it down. And then I'm just going to do the same thing for the rest of the books. I've already got this one so I can close it. Select all, Command A, copy, Command C, click back over here, Command V, and again, that one's large too, so I'm going to do Command minus a couple of times. Command T. Click on one of the corners and drag it diagonally. And hold the Shift key down as you're dragging it. Command 0 brings it full screen again. Now I can start playing around a little bit with this. To get as much of the comic book in there as possible. I especially want to try and get as much of the title as possible. So make sure that you can see it all the way around the edge. You have to zoom in. And then hit return. I'm going to pause the video for a minute and set the rest of these, but it's the same process that I'm going through here. I've placed all the images and sized them so that they all fit inside these letters. There's a bit of overlap here, but that's okay. If you turn off this layer, you can see where all the comic books are. I made some of them slightly bigger so that this one stretches across two letters. So I'm going to save this again because we haven't saved it in a while by just tapping Command S, clicking on Desktop, and then saving. Then I'm going to combine all of these layers of the comic books into one layer by clicking on the top one, 
holding the shift key down and then clicking all the rest of them. Going here and selecting Merge Layers. Now it merged them all into one layer. I'm going to save it again just because I like to save things like that. That's now no longer editable, but I'm not going to worry about that at this point because these are all in the place where I need them to be. Okay, here's where the tricky part comes in. This is going to be similar to the, what we did on the fingerprint. So I'm going to click on the text tool. Click on the magic wand tool. And click the area around the text by just clicking in the background. Oops. Notice how it didn't select everything? It's because I have this layer selected here. Make sure you click the top one. Click the magic wand tool. And then make sure there's an inside area here. So I'm going to click, hold the shift key down and click here also. So now it's got all of that stuff selected. Now just like on the fingerprint, I'm going to turn this off. Turn the comic books back on. And then click down here where the layer mask is. And nothing happened because I was on the wrong layer. Okay, notice what happened there? I had everything except the area that I wanted selected. So it cut out all the background stuff. Command Z will undo that. Go up to Select, Inverse. You can also do Shift Command I. And now it's got the text selected. So if you make that mistake, just back it up a minute by hitting Command Z, inverse the selection, and then hit the layer mask. So now all of the comic books are inside this mask. I'm going to enlarge this window. Notice how I put the cursor over here where these tools are so that I can enlarge this. I'm going to double click right next to this layer and add a drop shadow. This is a fairly large image so that you can see the drop shadow over here. I'm going to put it over here on this side. Then I'm going to click on size and make it larger. So that it has sort of a soft layered edge and then click the spread and bring this over a little bit too. While we're here, let's put a stroke on it by clicking stroke. Notice how it automatically added the stroke, but it's only one pixel. Make it a little bit larger. If you want to add the bevel emboss like we did last time, click on contour and make this large also. Clicking on the top one, change the size. Where it says Technique, click on Smooth and make it Chisel Hard. And then save it. I'm going to tap the F key so it goes full screen. Command 0. And this is what my finished piece is going to look like. It's my name minus the period, but it's got all the comic books inside the, the letters, as well as this faded background that shows the Marvel Universe characters battling the DC Universe characters. So this is going to be what your final looks like. Again, these pictures can be anything. You're going to need at least five or six, including a large background that's 1024 by 768. Tapping the F key again. Brings back my tools. Command S to save. We've got it saved as a Photoshop file. I'm going to go over here to Layers. Remember this triangle with these three lines is my Options menu, so I'm going to click Options. Flatten Image. Discard hit Hidden Layers, yes. And then File Save As. And change it from Photoshop to JPEG.
Still on the desktop. Save. And then you can quit out of this and upload that file. I just did Command Q. And then I'm going to upload that file to my Google Drive.